from harming women. I trust Yvette Harrell to stand up against the radical agenda. I'm Yvette Harrell, and I approve this message. It's Jeep Adventure Days at Dick Bull Chrysler Jeep. Only a few left. Hurry in and save $5,000 on a new iconic Chrysler 300. Dick Bull discounts and factory rebates will save you thousands. Where the Dick Bull tradition continues. Dick Bull Chrysler Jeep, 6501 Montana. It's 625. Looking ahead to Good Morning America at 7 a.m. now, an au pair who is having an affair with her employer has pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the murder of his wife and another man. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has the details in today's GMA First Look. In this morning's GMA First Look, a major development in the alleged au pair love triangle murder case. Today's agreement marks a significant step forward in this case. This body camera video showing Juliana Paresh Magallons moments after the murder of Christine Vanfield and Joe Ryan. We found Joseph Ryan deceased as a result of gunshot wounds and found Christine Banfield suffering from stab wounds. Parish Magallons now pleading guilty to manslaughter for Joe Ryan's death, agreeing to testify against her former boss and lover, Brendan Banfield, who is charged for both murders. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll tell you what's next as the cases unfold. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. Good morning, everyone. We are under a traffic alert. I-10 Piedras, you can see a live look right here. Now, according to police dispatch, we are tracking a uh, incident where a pedestrian was hit by a vehicle, and this is a deadly incident that we are tracking, and that is why we are seeing all lanes are completely shut down at I-10 and Piedras as you are traveling westbound. We're also starting to see more traffic make their way on Gateway Boulevard West. You can see all the, the taillights there in the distance. So I'd highly, highly advise taking an alternate route such as Loop 375, the border highway for this morning, or taking Montana Avenue so you can avoid where we're expecting to see all lanes closed off for quite some time for your morning drive. Katie. Thank you, Michael, for tracking that. If you're already thinking about lunchtime, temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 60s. Yes, 60s compared to what we've been experiencing. This is going to be very nice. Winds will be on a breezy level today, but nowhere near as strong as what we saw yesterday. We will talk about how strong they are expected to be and talk about your Halloween forecast coming up in our last hour long newscast. Hope to see you then. Zero percent on all new 2024 Jeeps at Dickbo Chrysler Jeep. Harris and Allred. Kamala Harris called keeping boys out of girls' bathrooms hateful. Colin Allred voted for boys and girls sports twice on the economy. The Inflation Reduction Act is now law. It's going to lower costs for families. It's a really big deal. Bidenomics is working. And on the border. Let me be very clear. I'm not going to vote for a wall under any circumstances. If they build that racist wall. My generation is the one that will tear it down. Harris and Allred. Two liberals. Two liberal for Texas. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Start a new career and enroll now at Southwest University. Enroll today and become a professional in nursing, x-ray, or sonography. Southwest University offers flexible schedules and short terms for you to finish faster. Don't wait. Be heard at Southwest University and take the next step in your professional journey today. For more information, visit us at southwestuniversity.edu. Southwest University. 25 years making you happen. Good morning, El Paso. Now is a great time to head to your locally owned mattress firm to take advantage of up to 72 months no interest financing. Get a great night's sleep tonight. Tonight. You guys are idiots. You should be done by now. These kids are so stupid. Summer job only for the money. If you saw this nanny, what would you do? I don't know who you think you are. An all new What Would You Do? Tonight on ABC. It's your voice, your vote. And you can count on ABC7 for your complete election coverage. Our live local report starts at 4 p.m., followed by ABC News coverage at 4.30. Stay tuned throughout the night with team coverage and updates on the local races that affect you the most. Then at 9 p.m., watch our special election coverage for extra perspective results and reactions. Followed by ABC7 News at 10. Plus, get all major breaking election updates on our KVI8 News app. You can count on the team you know and trust. ABC7. Where news comes first. News on Good Morning El Paso. We are currently following a deadly incident on I-10 that has all lanes blocked off. Very latest details still ahead.
After more than two years of delays, construction on the Pelicano Drive widening project may finally have a pathway to resuming. How long it may take to find a new contractor. And as UTEP officials are considering its new master plan, some are concerned about the campus's historic buildings. How the university has responded to those concerns. Live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. A very good morning to you, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Hillary Florin. And I'm Rosemary Montañez. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, and we are beginning in the ABC7 Alert Center with that breaking news. This just coming into our newsroom minutes ago, one person is dead after being hit by a vehicle. Police say it was a pedestrian. It all happened on I-10 West and Piedras at 553. That's in central El Paso. Now, we're still working to get more information. Our ABC7 crew is on the way we of course will give you all the updates with the very latest information but for now we're going to send things over to our traffic tracker Michael Kerr. Good morning Michael. Good morning Rosemary. Special traffic investigators are on the way to the scene of this deadly incident on I-10 as you're traveling westbound. You can see all traffic is completely backed up. You can see the lights flashing where this investigation is now underway. We're starting to see more traffic make their way also on Gateway Boulevard West with all lanes being closed off on I-10 as you're traveling westbound. Now eastbound traffic is not being impacted. You're still seeing traffic moving at a good rate there as all Lane, main lanes eastbound are open and on the traffic map you can see a lot of red and yellow that we are tracking and as we're seeing more vehicles start to make their way out on the roads we're starting to see more congestion this is a live look at I-10 and Boone as they're all traveling westbound so I'd highly recommend taking Montana Avenue or taking the border highway for this morning back to you Thanks so much, Michael. It's your voice, your vote to the Texas Senate race now. Texas Senator Ted Cruz and Colin Allred are on a final campaign blitz. Both candidates crossing the state with events planned throughout the final stretch. At an event in Conroe, Cruz has aimed to tie Allred to Vice President Kamala Harris and is pushing the topics of the economy and border security. Meanwhile, in Houston, Allred holding three events, including roundtable discussions on women's health and black business and a get out the vote event. There is no greater threat to our security than the chaos at our southern border right now. And I worked hand in hand with President Trump to secure the border and we achieved incredible success. Because I do come across some Texans who don't understand just how extreme this law is, who's responsible for it, and what we can do about it. And we will continue to bring you complete coverage on all local, state, and national races for the next week. And ahead of former President Donald Trump's visit to Albuquerque, ABC7 reached out to New Mexican candidates for U.S. Congress to hear their thoughts on the stop. Everybody's in play, and I think it's good for the voters, too, to know that, hey, their voices are being heard. President Trump understands our industries in terms of our energy sector. He understands his open border, which we have both in New Mexico. So ABC7 also reached out to Harold's opponent, Gabe Vasquez, to hear his response. We have not heard back as of this morning. The Trump campaign announced the rally will take place at CSI Aviation Incorporated near the Albuquerque International Sunport on Thursday. Doors will open at 8 a.m. and the official start time is noon. Presidential Democratic candidate Kamala Harris will be in Arizona on Thursday for her rally. Construction on the Pelicano Drive widening project may resume once again after more than two years. That's according to the Camino Real Regional Mobility Authority. They say the surety company connected to the project has been tasked now with hiring a construction firm. Executive Director for the authority, Raymond Tea, says it will take about six weeks to go through the bidding process for finding a contractor. He previously said the surety company connected to the project had been unwilling to start construction because the contractor had filed a claim. This disputing the default placed on them. On November 13th, the court will make a ruling on the default and if the surety will get back to work. From our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, 270 acres. That's how much the Blue Front Fire is currently burning. The Lincoln County Office of Emergency Services has issued residents in the Monito Lake area to be in ready status. The wildfire is about four miles west of Alto, which is about seven miles north of the village of Ridoso. The U.S. Forest Service also says crews remain on site overnight to make sure the fire stays on the north side of the mountain face. Bonito Lake residents are encouraged to continue monitoring emergency services, have an emergency plan, and move pets and livestock. The Forest Service also says the fire has spread due to, a high, due to high winds and warm temperatures, but it's still 0% contained. 
Well, members of UTEP's Heritage Commission are concerned the university will demolish historic buildings as part of the new master plan, but the school is denying those claims. None of these core heritage buildings, 19 of them, since 1951, none of them have ever been demolished. This would be the first time one of those buildings would be demolished. And I'm concerned that we haven't had a conversation about that. So UTEP officials responded with a statement which reads in part, quote, at an El Paso County Commissioner's Court meeting, a member of the public misrepresented UTEP and our campus master plan. He incorrectly suggested that a number of buildings will be demolished. That is incorrect. In fact, the master plan specifically says extreme care must be used in order to maintain the integrity of the campus, end quote. You, of course, can read more about this story on our website at kvia.com. On the border, Chihuahua State authorities say they've learned more about the operations carried out by the Venezuelan criminal group Tren de Aragua in Juarez and other Mexican states. Officials say these gang members start to get involved and mix along the Southern American communities before starting a codependency with other organized crime groups. The Chihuahua Public Safety Secretary says they learn about the gangs from migrants who were victims of extortion or who were freed from kidnapping. Juarez Mayor Cruz Perez Cuellar was also asked about how local authorities work to investigate the gang. La Guardia Nacional, el Ejército, tienen que detener delincuentes. Mayor Perez Cuellar said authorities of all three levels of government need and have to arrest criminals without asking from which criminal group they come from. And Cuellar adds that they are coordinating with the Juarez and Chihuahua police along with the National Guard and the Army to decrease crime rates on the border. All right, let's get back to traffic right now. We have a traffic alert, a fatal accident. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Hillary. Good morning, everyone. That is right. We are under a traffic alert. You can see I-10 and Piedras, a live look where we are still tracking. All lanes are closed off as you are traveling westbound. You can see all the taillights. Traffic is at a complete standstill for this morning. We're also tracking slowdown on Gateway Boulevard West. All eastbound lanes are still open. Traffic is not being impacted there on I-10. You can see green here, but then red in the other direction. We're starting to see traffic is being detoured to the I-10 Copia exit. There's a lot Live look at I-10 and Boone where you can see lights flashing and where traffic is starting to make their way out on the road. That is why we are starting to track some major slowdown for this morning. A look at the drive times as you're traveling westbound on I-10. You can see 38 total minutes from 375 to Mesa, 42 minutes from 375 to Executive due to this deadly collision that we are tracking for this morning. Katie. Thanks so much, Michael. We are looking at much cooler temperatures for you today compared to what we were seeing yesterday. And we are seeing that yeah, we're seeing much cooler temperatures than we were this time yesterday. That is a sign that cooler air is making its way across the borderland. Here's what we're looking at if you're heading out anytime soon. Temperatures are going to warm up into the 60s and even the 70s today, but it's not going to get all that warm, especially in comparison to what we were tracking earlier on this week. We'll have more details about your forecast highs today and also your Halloween forecast coming up. Thanks so much, Katie. One special El Paso win will be the Grand Marshal at the upcoming Halloween parade. How exciting and who could it be? We'll give you a hint. She's a former UTEP miner now living in the East Coast. And at 638, here's a preview of Good Morning America right after our newscast. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Coming up here on GMA, just six days left until the final votes. Vice President Harris delivered her closing argument, standing where former President Trump stood on January 6th, as Trump makes an appeal to Latino voters after the backlash over his rally in New York. And Harris's running mate, Tim Walls, will join us right here this morning. Also, just one more day to Halloween, so Lori Bergamato is going to show us how to make some last-minute costumes for kids and adults if you have procrastinated. And Carrie Russell, live in Times Square. You'll see it all on GMA. Coverage for the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom is sponsored by Tawny Acosta and Chaparro, truck crash and entry attorneys. Watch KVIA streaming live and on demand. Download the app. Start your day off right with what happened overnight, plus live coverage of breaking news and weather and traffic on the 7s. Good morning, El Paso. The team you know, the team you trust. The economy, inflation, it's smothering us. The economy stimulator. New Deal Furniture has negotiated stipulation deals on 18 truckloads of quality living rooms, bedrooms, dining, and mattresses. But we must sell it all by November 9th. Leather sofas and loves or sectionals, they recline. They're powered. They're $17.99. Keep up with economic reform. Free recliners. Financing till January 2026 and free delivery. Now that's stimulating the economy. New Deal Furniture.
furniture for president where the smart furniture buyers shop Right after a crash, insurance companies began crafting excuses to not pay you. That's why we get to work immediately. We're with you every step of the way, guiding you through the process, taking on the insurance companies, handling your medical bills, and work-related issues. We know the law, and we're not afraid to take those responsible to court. Our experts will expose the defense team's lies and hold them accountable. Tony Acosta and Chaparro became my voice. I took my case to trial and won. That was the best call I ever made. It's officially truck and SUV season at Shamali Ford. El Paso's truck and SUV center is bringing you hot Shamali deals all month long. New 2024 F-150 STX starting at $39,995. New 2024 Escape starting at $25,990. New 2024 Bronco Sports, only $28,990. Wow, that's a hot Shamali deal. Right on the corner, right on the price. El Paso's truck and SUV center. Shamali all across New Mexico, in kitchens, offices, fields, we understand hard work. We know its value. I learned that being raised by a single mother. So I work hard on what really matters, lowering our costs for insulin and medicine, fighting greedy corporate landlords to lower rents. But Yvette Harrow, banning abortion, taking away rights, has forgotten what really matters to all of us. I'm Gabe Vasquez. I'll never forget. And that's why I approve this message. A lot of new Chevys under 30,000 at Rudolph Chevrolet. Good morning at 641. Lupita Nyong'o says that her success in Hollywood came at a cost. The Oscar winning actress is now saying on Trevor Noah's podcast that she actually decided while at Yale Drama School to lose her Kenyan accent and develop an American accent. She says it felt like betrayal and that she often cried herself to sleep, but it worked. It worked out. Well, another chapter is in store for the scary movie franchise. The Wayans Brothers reportedly will script and produce the new film that was announced earlier this year. Marlon made the announcement on social media yesterday and said, quote, we're back. The first edition debuted in 2000 and spawned four sequels. The most recent, Scary Movie 5, came out in 2013. Production on the next film is set to begin next year. The American Film Institute is giving Francis Ford Coppola what it calls America's highest honor for a career in film. The iconic filmmaker is set to receive the 50th AFI Life Achievement Award at a gala tribute in Los Angeles next April. His films The Godfather, The Godfather Part II, and Apocalypse Now are all on AFI. 100 years, 100 movies list. A New York City museum curator has discovered a previously unknown waltz written by Frederick Chopin. It's the first new piece of work by the Polish composer found since the late 1930s. The Morgan Library and Museum's curator found the waltz in 2019. He then sought outside help to authenticate it. And experts say extensive research points to the strong likelihood that the piece is by Chopin. The creator says hearing this work for the first time will be an exciting moment for everyone in the classical piano world. Congratulations to the Idea Public Schools Mesquite Hills Diamondbacks. Their flag football team comprised of 6th, 7th and 8th graders won the state championship, finishing the season with a perfect 13-0 record. They competed against other charter schools in the state. Congrats to them. Well, fresh off her WNBA championship win, El Paso native and UTEP grad Kayla Thornton will be at this year's 39th annual Halloween parade. The champion who led the New York Liberty to victory earlier this month will be attending the parade as the Grand Marshal. That parade will be taking place over in East El Paso beginning at 3.30 around the Eastwood Park area, also known as Album Park. Cars, trucks, floats and people dressed up in their best costumes will be participating. What a great treat. Get mm -hmm. it? <laughs> Well, it seems like something out of a comic book. Yeah, we'll tell you how some Houston hospital residents got to see some real life superheroes. And we're following up breaking news at this hour. One person is dead after being hit by a vehicle on I-10 West and Piedras. ABC 7 crews are on the way, but traffic tracker Michael Courier will have a look at how bad it is, how to get around all of that backup you see on your screen right there. It's 644. Stay with us. It's time to trade for a great used car from Dick Poe. At DickPoe.com, you will find these plus hundreds more cars, SUVs, and trucks. Best selection. All our inventory is at DickPoe.com. Shop Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep at 6501 Montana or online now. And you know where. Enroll now at Southwest University, where your future meets flexibility. 
With in-person classes only two days a week, our innovative schedule allows you to balance work, family, and education. Become a nurse, surgical tech, or medical assistant. We offer flexible schedules and short terms for you to finish faster. For more information, visit us at southwestuniversity.edu. Southwest University, 25 years making you happen. Montana is a bit of a mess, but once you maneuver your way around the orange cones and barriers, you'll find no mess, just deals at Viva Kia. It's our construction sale, and we are slashing our prices. Need a bigger, bolder drive? Viva Kia will get you in a 2024 Kia Sorento with 2.99% APR. Come in today to Viva Kia on Montana next to Bassett. We'll make it worth your drive because Viva makes it happen. It's a dangerous pattern. Gabe Vasquez cited in multiple police reports for harassment, domestic dispute, drug possession, and threatening behavior. According to a police report, Vasquez once threatened to kill someone and bury their body. Think about that. Police forced to respond after Vasquez threatened to kill someone and bury them. Gabe Vasquez, unhinged and unfit. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. It's time to trade for a great used car from Dick Poe. At DickPoe.com, you will find these plus hundreds more cars, SUVs, and trucks. Best selection. All our inventory is at DickPoe.com. Shop DickPoe Dodge Ram at 1363 Airway or online now. And you know where. Decades in the making. The largest clean energy project in American history right here in New Mexico. Some said it was impossible, but I pushed it through. I believe in this country's ability to build big things again. Manufacturing. Construction, transmission, careers New Mexicans can build families around, boosting our economy by billions and powering millions of homes. A game changer for generations to come. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message. Good morning, everyone. We are under a traffic alert at 647. A live look, I-10 and Piedras. We are seeing all lanes are closed off as you are traveling westbound this morning. As according to police dispatch, there was a pedestrian that was hit by a vehicle. And, and is, this is a deadly incident that we are tracking for this morning. So we are expecting to see, uh, for the time being, all lanes to be shut down for quite some time for your morning commute. So I'd highly recommend taking the border highway as you are traveling westbound. You can see a lot of slowdown starting to make its way on Gateway Boulevard West. Eastbound traffic on I-10 is not being impacted. Traffic still moving through there, but you can see traffic is at a complete standstill as you are traveling westbound. We're seeing that traffic is being detoured to take I-10 the Copia exit as you're heading out. You can see live look right here where also traffic is being diverted uh, on the Boone exit as you are traveling westbound as law enforcement also has all the lanes blocked off there. And we're starting to see major backup now start to make its way through I-10 and Reynolds. As you can see where traffic is starting to make their way. Still eastbound traffic looking good, but westbound that is the main problem. So again, I would highly recommend to take Montana Avenue or the border highway for this morning. Katie. Thank you, Michael. We are counting down the days to Halloween and now we just have one day left. We are expecting pleasant weather over the next couple of days due in part to this cold front making its way through our area. We have much colder air up to our north, but some cooler air is moving into El Paso as we speak. Wind gusts aren't too bad. In fact, I do believe the front has made it through El Paso. It just takes a little while for the temperatures to actually respond and uh, respond to the cooler weather that we are expecting. Winds are still gusting to our east up in Rudoso and Guadalupe Pass as the winds make it up and over the mountains. We could have some locally stronger gusts out to our east. But right here in El Paso, we're looking good. 25 miles per hour is what we're expecting for the winds to be the strongest today. Most likely in this afternoon after lunchtime and before dinner time. All of us will be feeling it, but this is much better than what we experienced yesterday. That's for sure. For Halloween, though, we're looking at much lower wind speeds, only around 15 miles per hour the next couple days. Then by this weekend, we will have a slight increase in the winds again. Right now they are below first alert level, but if they do get up to around 45 miles per hour, we will give you a heads up. As of now, 
this is going to be a bit breezy as we move into the next work week. Temperatures today should be around 67 degrees for lunchtime. Cool and breezy. It's going to be quite comfortable. Let's take a look at your forecast highs across Doniana County. 72 for Anthony Sunland Park. 68 in Mesilla with 63 in Oregon. El Paso County, we're looking at temperatures at 72 for Anthony. Fort Bliss, 74. Socorro, 72 down in Fabens as well. And for Husbands and Culberson County, 69 Sierra Blanca and 74 for Van Horn. Tomorrow is the all important day. We've been waiting so long for it. We're looking at temperatures to be in the mid 70s for your highs, which is mild. This is right where we should be at this time of year. And we'll keep the spooky sunshine. That's not to say we can't see a cloud or two, but plenty of sunshine tomorrow and your candy should be fine as we get to the trick-or-treating time temperatures will be cooling down to the low 70s upper 60s that's looking good for halloween seven day forecast sponsored by mattress firm will warm up a little bit over the next couple days by friday back in the 80s and in las cruces you'll be a couple degrees cooler 71 you're high on halloween with rain chances possible for the weekend Katie, thank you so much. Coming up after the break, the headlines in your morning rush. Several motions filed in the state case against the Walmart shooter, the latest in the filings of this ongoing case. After more than two years of delays, construction on the Pelicano Drive widening project may finally have a pathway to resuming how long it may take to find a new contractor. It's 651. Nice. We make cars that thrill. Shop NissanUSA.com today. Yvette is lying about her extreme positions. Here's the bill she sponsored to ban abortion nationwide without exceptions. And here are her own words. I wish we could have eliminated all abortion in this state. Heard enough? I'm Gabe Vasquez. I approve this message. Vote early from October 21st through November 1st. Review a sample ballot on our website and bring it with you to the polls. With 33 early voting locations across El Paso, you can choose the location most convenient for you. Vote early. Be heard. We are a multi-generational family. My mom, myself, and my three children. As my mother gets older, and as I get older, prescription drugs and health insurance, it's gotten difficult. After taking money from Big Pharma, Yvette Harold voted to let drug companies keep raising their prices for medications like insulin. That pisses me off. Says to me that she doesn't care about families like us. Harold cares more about her pockets. If Yvette Harold goes back to Congress, New Mexicans could be facing higher health care costs. HMP is responsible for the content of this ad. There's a monster sale at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso today with spooky savings on over 400 new Hyundais. <laughs> new Elantris, just a haunting 159. New 2025 Tucson's for 245. New 2025 Santa Fe's, a wicked 299. And spectacular savings on hundreds of Hyundais with 0% APR, zero down, or zero payments until next year. We must sell 200 new Hyundais this month. It's a monster sale at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso today. The parade of political promises has begun. We're listening to local voices. We need to hear your concerns. Your voice matters. Build a better El Paso. New jobs. Quality of life. Lower taxes. Downtown arena. More tourism. New industries. Improved parks. Make El Paso safe. More doctors. Better schools. Farmers markets. Vision for the future. Vision. 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 Tired of vague talk and empty promises? Elect Brian Kennedy. Welcome to 1700 Steakhouse, nestled within the timeless elegance of Hotel Paso del Norte. Experience culinary excellence and tradition. Our USDA prime steaks and locally sourced ingredients ensure every bite is a journey of flavor. Whether you come for a special occasion or a memorable evening, 1700 Steakhouse always delivers. Top off your perfect evening at Blackjack Cigar Lounge. Indulge in sophistication. Visit 1700 Steakhouse in Hotel Paso del Norte, where every dining experience is a masterpiece. Yvette is lying about her extreme positions. Here's the bill she sponsored to ban abortion nationwide without exceptions. And here are her own words. I wish we could have eliminated all abortion in this state. Heard enough? I'm Gabe Vasquez. I approve this message. Rise and shine, El Paso. Start your day the right way. When breaking news happens that could impact your day or when the forecast warns of adverse weather that may also affect your morning commute. Good Morning in Paso is here to keep you informed before you step foot out that door with breaking news, weather and traffic on the sevens and the most current up to the minute information. There's only one way to start your day the right way. Good Morning El Paso, everything you need to get you out the door. Weekdays starting at 4.30 a.m. only on ABC7.
Welcome back at 654. Let's get you ready for the day with the morning rush. And we continue to follow breaking news this morning. El Paso police say one pedestrian is dead after being hit by a vehicle. Authorities say it happened on I-10 West and Piedras in central El Paso just right before 6 in the morning. Good morning, El Paso's Isabella Martinez joins us live. Good morning to you, Isabella. Investigators are also here on the scene along with Texas. Now a little further down here on I-10 West is where we do see two vehicles parked further up a Jeep and a semi truck, both with their hazards on. Police have not said if those are the cars involved, but again, we do know one person is dead after getting hit by a car here on I-10 West near Piedras. We also know the call came in right before 6 a.m. Of course, we are working to find out more information. We'll keep you updated both on air and online. Once we learn more, you can see the backup here on I-10 heading west. Traffic is taking the caught and exit, but even then, the traffic to get off is at a standstill, so it is best to avoid this area and find an alternate route. Back to you guys. Isabella, thank you. In the ongoing state case against federally convicted Sierra Vista Walmart shooter Patrick Crucius, Emergence Health Network filed a motion to quash a prosecution subpoena seeking his medical and mental health treatment records. Emergence is also seeking a protective order to prevent future subpoenas seeking protected health information. In a separate filing, the state is asking the appeals court to block a hearing scheduled for tomorrow regarding allegations of prosecutorial misconduct. Documents show a request for a writ of the request asks that the appeals court judge Sam Medrano make orders requested by Crucius's defense team public. The 8th Court of Appeals has not yet ruled on the prosecution requests. Construction on the Pelicano Drive widening project may resume once again after more than two years. This according to the Camino Real Regional Mobility Authority. They say the surety company connected to the project has been tasked with hiring a construction firm. The executive director for the authority, Raymond Theus, says it will take roughly six weeks to go through the bidding process to find a contractor. Now on November 13th, the court will make a ruling on if the surety will get back to work. And we are under a traffic alert at 656 coming up on 657 as you're traveling westbound as we are tracking this deadly incident involving a pedestrian on the road. We're seeing traffic at a complete standstill. We can see all the red as you're traveling westbound. Eastbound traffic is still moving through with no problems. We're starting to see back up, make its way towards I-10 and Chelsea. You can see as vehicles are starting to make their way on the road. I would highly, highly recommend taking the border highway for this morning or Montana Avenue. As you look at your drive times traveling on I-10 West, we're seeing red in about 60 minutes from 375 to Mesa and from 375 to executive for this morning. Katie. We're looking at max wind speeds up to 25 miles per hour today, but it will be much cooler. So I really think you'll enjoy today compared to yesterday. Thanks, Katie. Well, not all heroes wear capes, but these particular ones do. Take a look at this. Window washers disguised as superheroes repel past the pediatric patients at MD Anderson Children's Cancer Hospital in Houston. What a sight for those kids to see, right? Looking out the window. So fun. Good morning. Imagine seeing that on <laughs> Halloween. Nice. Pretty that cool. is pretty awesome. All right, before we go, we have to remind you about our traffic alert. Yes, all lanes are closed off as you're traveling I-10 West at. Thank you for watching. ABC 7 News is now available on any of these streaming.